X-Bar training with David Kimmerly, chest and biceps. Let's get going. We're gonna start off with standing curl. Both legs over. Go ahead and curl. One, two. Jennifer, stick your elbows a little bit further into your sides. So bring your elbows back. I'm gonna adjust Jennifer. We're gonna bring her elbows just to the side. There we go. Now lower it all the way down. If that's not enough weight for you, spread your legs and it adds more resistance on the band. Halfway there. She's taking a neutral grip position, taking advantage of the ergonomic design of the X-Bar. Beautiful. We have 15 seconds left. Keep that fluid motion. Keep it going. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get ready for push-ups. Wide grip. Several different variations on this. We're gonna start off wide, and I'm gonna adjust your grip for you real quick. It allows you to go down a little bit further. Let's get going. Now you just wanna keep one fluid movement. And when you get really tired, please just put both knees down and keep going. If you have to stop, try to stop in this top push-up position. This has still got the chest engaged and it's firing off all muscles. Doing a great job, Jennifer. All right, show us that variation on your knees, Jen. All right. Now go as low as you possibly can. There we go, dipping right into it. Come on. Right about now, it's literally just trying to make yourself push, trying to get yourself to do something you don't want to do. Keep on going, we're only two sets into it. Come on, in two, one. Great job, take a rest. And then we're gonna get into underhand chest pull. The position is gonna be here. We're gonna go up and back down. We're not gonna be bending our arms. Okay, so grab your weight, Jennifer. I like to do both legs down. Remember, if you stand in the middle, a little bit less weight. Come on. You can bend your arms a little bit. Go ahead and bend your arms a little bit, Jennifer. There you go. It's right here. Boom and down. Down. Keep track of your breathing. Breathe out on the way up. Breathe out on exertion. More than halfway there. Keep it going, keep it going. A beautiful rest. How you feeling, Jennifer? Keep it going, keep it going. You wanna keep those elbows pointed to the ground as much as possible. You have five seconds left. Going a little bit high, you wanna keep it right about here. Up, down. Great job, take your rest. Oh boy, oh boy. Now we're gonna do reverse curl. This is simply the exact same movement we were doing before, only with your hands on top. Let's get going. Stand in the middle, hands in neutral position, and up. Great form. Right now you're just playing the uncomfortable game. You're somewhere inside your head, wondering if you should keep pushing, if Jennifer here's arms are burning as much as yours, if my arms are burning as much as yours, and I promise you they are. This is literally just a fight with myself to keep doing something I don't want to do, or I do want to do, but do more of it. Something got you to hit play today. Something made you turn on the TV and hide from the world and body modify. You're willing your muscles to grow. You're willing the energy to come from fat. And I'll tell you what, when you thin your skin and the muscles meet it, it's a beautiful thing, no matter where you're starting from. Four, three, come on, two, one, put it down. All right, next is gonna be the incline 
chest press. How you feeling, Jennifer? Tired. Are you tired already? We're not even through our first one. Good girl. All right. Well, let's get going. This is the incline chest press. So your foot is going to be behind you. And push. Wide grip. Two. Three. Four. Five. Great job. Six. Eight. Just keep the fluid moving. You have to stop, wiggle it out, shake it out. We've got about 35 seconds left and we keep going. Oh, she's doing great. It's kind of fun doing a couple's workout. I grabbed Jen, she's a local here at the gym. She's got a great physique, a great body, and I asked her politely if she wouldn't mind doing video with me. Ooh, one rest. All right, okay. Now we're gonna do the bent over isolation curl. This is simply put your feet right back in the same position, go a little bit wider on the cable, excuse me, on the band, adding some resistance. So Jennifer, this is what we're doing right here. Whew. Three. If you're not feeling enough resistance, go ahead and choke up. So spread your legs as wide as you can. You want to lift one leg up on it, then take it over and out. Because all you did was keep the same, but stretch to the middle. Whew. Come on, guys, who wants arms? Come on, ladies. You don't like that jiggle sticking out of the dress. It's the same as legs. You just have to take this uncomfortable position you're in and stay positive, stay motivated, stay empowered. This is your time, your moment. Think about why you came here right now. Hope you're sweating. Come on. Come on. Shake it out if you have to. Put it on the ground. You can change your position to inner grip. Love my elbow stuck in between my knees here because then they can't move and I'm guaranteed that my biceps are doing the work. Two, one, done. All right. Now we get to rest for 15 seconds and redo the entire thing. You, my friends, are halfway there. We're going to start off again with the standing bicep curl, hands under. This time I'm going to do one leg forward. You can do two legs in the middle if you like. I need to take off a little bit of weight, and this is what does that. I'm going in a grip. Doing fine. Doing fine, guys. Keep pushing. I know you want to stop. I want to stop, too. We're going to keep going, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. More than halfway there through the set. I'm gonna change my grip because that was just burning a little bit beyond my pain threshold. Okay. There we go. Not much easier, but a little bit. Oh yeah. Come on, guys. We got 20 seconds left. Remember your why. If you put that in that bar, you pick it up again right now and you keep going. Whew. Whew. Remember to keep your elbow where it goes. Your upper arm stays perpendicular to the floor. And your forearms come up to your face and back down. Put it down, you're good. All right. Now push-ups wide grip. Remember to have the U down so you can get your chest as low as possible. Get into position, we go again in three, two, one. Let's go. Now I'm gonna show you another variation. One leg up. Knock these out for as many reps as you can. I usually like to do the same amount each leg. I think that was four. So lift the other one up for four. Back down. Come on guys, this is fun, let's go. I know I want a chest. And I love how when you grip this bar, it really, really engages your chest that much more. You're saving on your wrists. Because in this position, in front of the bar, I'll show you, my wrists take a lot of heat. And it really, really kind of hurts right here. So with this bar, you can keep on going. Without the pain of your wrists, you stop because of either you can't do anymore. Notice I just held the top. Two, one, good job. Oh, great job, guys. 
Great job, we're gonna keep going though. In 10 seconds, this is an underhand chest pull, okay? Put one leg in front, dead center. And how you know what center is, you'll feel a little bit more pressure down below. I'm going in her grip. Let's go. Making this look too easy, Jen. Ooh, this band works. What color band are you using? Keep pushing, friends. Come on. Nothing wrong with taking a small rest. If you're using one of the lighter bands, you should be able to do more reps. I'm gonna switch legs. If you find yourself with the right foot in the center on some of this one-legged stuff, just switch legs sometimes, especially if you have to take a rest. Come on, come on, push, push, push. Oh, throw some breathing out at the end. Two, one, all right. Okay, all right, just pull. Now we're gonna do reverse bicep curls. You might as well keep your feet somewhere near that position. Oh. Four, three, two. Working out in Hollywood right now. Wherever you are, there's a lot going on around you. Just keep going. Perfect form, Jennifer. Try not to move your elbows, though. You want to leave them back. If you find your elbows scooting forward, it's literally just avoiding the bicep from doing the work. If you have to take a rest, please do so. Try to keep that perfect form. Now toward the end of the set, I notice my elbow's moving too. I'll just rest for a second, kick my elbows back, and go. These are one-minute sets. This is no joke, friends. 17. Oh. Come on. Remember your why. Remember your why. What's a why? Why is why you hit play. That's your goal. That's your why. Two. One. All right. Incline, chest press, bent over isolation curl, and we're done. We are done. How you feeling, Jennifer? Where, where's pumped right now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do that incline chest press. Last time I had my back leg was my right leg. Now it's my left leg. Really concentrating on my chest doing this work. You gotta get a little bit of front delts in there, but you always get that with chest press incline anyway. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Come on. Come on, America. Push, push. Shake it out. We got 20 seconds. Where are you in your head? Are you with me? Let's keep going. Five seconds. Get it out. Rip out a couple more. Come on. Okay, you're done. Take your rest. Oh, one set left. One set left. Let's get real wide on this band. Let's make sure we've got enough. We have one more. I love your attitude. Yes, we are. Climb over it. We have one second to get going. Super wide. Now you're probably gonna wonder why my movement only the top? Because I find that a lot of times there's some resistance, some elbow movement on the top, half of a lot of your standing bicep curls. So I really like this position where you're training up and down. You don't have to go all the way down, you can, but it kind of lets off some of the, some of the resistance. Okay, put it down. This is not fake sweat. Come on, 27 seconds to the end of your workout. Push, push. Boy, this band works. Ah, this bar is awesome. Come on. Next bar training, David Kimberly. Man and woman edition. Chest and biceps coming to an end in four, three, one. Oh my gosh. 
What a workout. I almost can't even rack it. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that sweat. That's real sweat. My heart rate's dropping. Friends, right there, we were trying to build muscle. As this scar's over, it gets tight, gets bigger. And the intention today was once again to use the fuel of fat. Your efforts and, and the presses and the pulls and the pushes, we want to come from your gas fat. Now we're training here, but I promise you, it's, it's taking the fat from everywhere to fuel this. So Jennifer, how are you feeling after this workout? Good, jello arms. <laughs> How's your chest? Push-ups aren't easy for a lady. It actually wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. She's got a great attitude. Once again, this is David Kimberly, X-Bar training, chest and biceps. We'll see you on the next one. Friends, I will never ask you to do something that I'm not willing to do. You see me putting down the bar sometimes and really resting. You see me trying to pick the heavy, heavy band. I'm doing that to inspire and motivate you. I'm never gonna walk off set and then come back and I'll start breathing hard and act like, like I didn't take a rest. No. If I'm working out for 15 minutes straight, I want you to too. If I work out for five minutes to take a break, I'll give you that same luxury. So just know that when we do these videos, I'm suffering right there with you. I uh, had, a, had a friend ask me the other day, Kimberly, wh why are we punishing ourselves? That's a perception and it's a fair perception. And sometimes it, it feels like that. I, I laughed and I said, buddy, yeah, thank you for sharing because I felt like I just punished myself too. And it could be a punishment for eating the cookie. It could be a punishment for letting yourself go for five years. Or it's not a punishment. It's just a, a, an adjective that he chose to use because that's what it felt like. He was punishing himself. It could be I'm um, goal oriented. It could be why does it hurt so much? It could be, you know, a lot of the other ways he could have worded it. And it is all of those things. It is somewhat painful. It is uncomfortable. You're out of breath. All those are senses of accountability of, of effort and your body trying. I don't care your perception. I don't care how you word it. As long as you get the idea that if you don't do something that you've never done before, if your heart rate doesn't go higher than it's ever gone before, if you don't keep it higher than it's ever been before, your body will not change. You will not thin your skin and you will not build the muscle underneath it to meet for a beautiful, amazing resolution. What's the resolution? A new body. You're training with David Kimmerling in the X-Bar for your potential. <laughs>